I've literally never won anything a day in my life. Like, I've never won, like, this is hilarious. <laughs> This is the Schmo with the Pro with UFC middleweight, the action man, Chris Curtis. Just finished up practice here at Extreme Couture. How we doing? Man, I'm loving it, man. Uh, I'm hurting, but I'm, I'm loving it. Loving being back in practice, being back in camp. Listen, man, hell of a year in 2021. You got two victories in less than a month's time. Obviously, you're riding a seven-fight winning streak. You got April 9th, UFC 273 against Driscus Duplassie coming up, man. A lot going right for the action man. Is it Driscus or Drykus? I don't know. Like, I've, I've been asked, I messaged him, he didn't respond to me. I'm not even trying to be a dick, I just don't know. Everyone says it differently. Is it Drykus, Driscus? The Schmo always gets his South African names incorrect. I mean, it's South Africa, so what are you going to do? But hey, anyway, I love you guys. <laughs> hey, man, you just traveled the globe. You were in Istanbul, man. You were riding high to close out the year, huh? Yeah, you know what? I haven't had a vacation uh, as a professional in what? 15 years. So I went to Istanbul, had some fun, took a two-week vacation. Now we're back on it, man. Uh, it's killing time come April 9th, so back to it. Now talk to the schmo for a second, man. Obviously things went your way, and they're giving you a guy who you're going to be another underdog against. They're feeding you to I the killers, man. Be, I better not be an underdog this fight. Both of my wins are better than both of his wins. I better not be an underdog. I'm going to be pissed. Well, the schmo wants to give you something. If you're an underdog, if you're an overdog, doesn't make a difference. You're the breakthrough schmo of the year, my man. Oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? <laughs> Thank you, bro. Hey, that's awesome. I've never won anything. That is awesome, bro. <laughs> well, you just won this, man. Now, listen. Thank you, man. Hey, you guys are awesome. Well, uh, importantly, where are you going to be putting this award? Because Sean Strickland got a Schmo award, obviously. The Schmo gave it to him. He said he's going to put it over his bed. Not not the ideal location, man. Especially he said it's going to be next to the Louvre. Where do you think you're going to put this thing? This has got, like, hard edges. That's that's a danger happening, to, you know, waiting to happen. This is going next to my TV. I'm going to send you guys a picture. It'll be next to my prize possession. I have an autographed uh, picture of Brad Tavares. This will go. <laughs> he's gonna laugh when he sees that. But this will be uh, right next to that, man. That's awesome. Like this is uh, going right on my TV stand, man. Excellent. Now talk to the schmo for a second. Obviously, what's gonna be the goal here for 2022, man? What would you like to do in the UFC? Because obviously, you're not a young guy. You're in your mid 30s. You got a lot of goals accomplished. What do you want to do? I got six fights in last year, man. I want to get seven fights in this year. Uh, fighting at 185 means I don't have to cut weight, a lot of weight. Everything's good. I'm always, if I can stay healthy, I want to get seven wins this year, man. That's, that's the plan. Let's get seven. And obviously, Joaquin Buckley, the schmo saw him. He's another middleweight who's coming in here to train into Extreme Couture, man. We've, um, this is, uh, Extreme's always been a great gym, but right now, especially last year, this year, we've got so much talent in here. I wish you guys could see the sparring room, the training rooms, man, 40 guys. Even at 185 alone, man, we got 15 guys in here who are world-class guys, so it's it's a hell of a place to be right now. The Schmo's not going to make you make a prediction between your guy, Sean Strickland, and Jack Hermanson, but do you see an opportunity for the winner there to leapfrog a cannoneer and the guy he's fighting, a Brunson, the winner there, to get the middleweight strap opportunity to fight for that title? First of all, you know I'm going to pick Sean for this. I have to anyway. Uh, I've been riding together for a long time. So I think he stops him, but uh, I think if uh, he does this and he stops him badly, I think he does get the leapfrog cannoneer. If not, then he uh, gets the winner of that fight, man. So like this, this fight's what we've been waiting for for a long time. And uh, it's just weird to say, like, hey, man, you're like next in line or you're third snail. You got one guy ahead of you, so we'll still get it done. How about the main event, Whitaker out of Sanya, too? Do you see a scenario where Whitaker becomes and new? I, man, I, I don't know, man. Both, both of them are so weird to me. I want to pull for Whitaker, but... After getting beat like that, man, I don't know how much uh, how much uh, Israel's in his head, man. I don't know, man, because Whitaker's always been good, but he fought badly. He said he fought with his ego, but, you know, you don't want to go out there and do it again, but you get face planted, that guy's living in your head rent-free. I don't. That, I won't touch that one, man. I won't, I won't touch that one. Like, fuck, I wish I knew, but don't take my word for it. I can't bet. I suck at betting and gambling, so whatever I pick's probably wrong anyway. Fair play, man. Can we get a final message for the Action Man fans out there worldwide? The guy who wants to fight seven times this year and live up to the nickname. You know what? This is the first thing I get to say. Uh, I never realized I had so many fans, man. I got fans everywhere. Uh, I get so much love on Instagram. My inbox is constantly flooded with guys giving me support. Now I've got tons of South Africans saying they hate me. Love you guys still. But anyway, man, thank you guys so much for the support, man. Win, lose, or draw, man. I'm going to go out there and uh, just try to kick ass, put on a show for you guys. And, you know, I fucking love you guys, man. Thanks. He's the pro, I'm the schmo here at Extreme Couture. We're out.